Good morning! So today we're going to be talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 8 of my favorite sunscreen sticks that you need this summer So I already got my notes with me and let's get started So in today's video I'm going to cover a few brands of sunscreen sticks So first off we have Vanilla Co, Misha, some 37, Abib, Nature Republic have the Sam Swanee Coco. I heard about these certain types of sunscreen sticks and they were said to be very handy, especially if you're on the go. And since you have to reapply sunscreen every two hours, this would be better than, of course, a bigger tube. At first, I was just doing my research about sunscreen sticks and just looking at all the sunscreen sticks that you have, and trust me, you have a lot. I decided to buy this one first because of the color. I like the yellow color and I like Vanilla Co as a company. For every sunscreen, by the way, I also checked if they have fragrance because I personally have dry skin. Sometimes a little sensitive, but my skin can tolerate fragrance. My partner also tried the sunscreen sticks with me and he has a little bit normal to oily skin. I tested each of these sticks for five days because otherwise this video would have been done probably in the winter and we don't want that i do have to say that none of them broke me out none of these sunscreens leave a white cap on me or on my partner and my partner is two shades darker than me so that's a good thing for people of color let's just get started with the video so my first sunscreen stick is this one from vanilla co the moment that i got this sunscreen stick i just fell in love with it okay i just was so in love first of all the smell is just amazing vanilla co doesn't have perfume or fragrance in the ingredient list this one in particular has citrus and lemon oils um, and that's what gives it the citrusy smell which I personally love I remember when I got this I literally went to bed with the sunscreen and I just kept it next to my pillow and I would just smell it if I couldn't sleep Vanilla Co also has another sunscreen uh, stick and it's the blue turquoise one this is also the Hello Sunny but this is their fresh variation and this is their glow or aqua aqua variation and you also have a pink one and the pink one is their glow variation i don't have the pink one so both these sunscreen sticks the aqua and the fresh i adore um, what i like most about these sunscreen sticks by the way is they have a creamy consistency as you can see so when it comes to sunscreen sticks you actually have two types of consistencies that i have seen this is the example of a creamy consistency just a normal cream like a moisturizer it's like sort of just a normal moisturizer on your skin and then you also have this is what i call a waxy consistency honestly at first i thought that the waxy consistency type of sunscreen sticks i would prefer during the winter months because i have dry skin my boyfriend has normal to oily skin he actually prefers the waxy consistencies over the creamy consistencies i personally prefer this one because of the smell because of the color and because this was my very first sunscreen stick that i ever got and literally after that I went crazy in ordering sunscreen sticks like non-stop. All the sunscreen sticks in this video don't leave a white cast, don't leave me oily, don't sting my eyes. I just love, 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 love sunscreen sticks. So this was the Vanilla Co. I would absolutely recommend this one. The only thing I do have to say, by the way, this one says 18.5 grams and this one says it's 20 grams. So keep that in mind when buying. Check how many grams you're actually getting because I think it's because of manufacturing maybe they first had 20 grams or maybe they first had 18.5 grams and then they change it up but just be aware of that and then we're going to continue with another sunscreen stick and this one is actually the same consistency like Vanilla Co and this is from Misha this is their Sika Dean Centella water sunscreen stick funny thing about the Misha one is that it's actually the same type of tube but only the price is cheaper so vanilla co i got this one for 20 euros on YesStyle, and i got this one for around 15 euros on YesStyle. but as you can see you know as you open it up straight away it's just the same type of uh, tube like the vanilla co 
same consistency which I love the only thing I don't like about this one is the smell it's not my favorite it's sort of an earthy herbal smell I wouldn't say I hate it but I am not the biggest fan of the smell but then again because it has Sika aka Centella Asiatica extract in it I am willing to stick with it also this sunscreen stick has 20 grams um, of product inside and the mission one has no no fragrance I personally love the way that these types of sunscreen sticks feel on your face it's very nourishing soothing just great 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 so whenever I see a sunscreen stick in this type of packaging I will absolutely get it because I just love this consistency I actually have another one let me show you real quick right now and I actually didn't plan on showing this one but this is from Acewell and this is not available on YesStyle it has the same type of consistency as the Vanilla Co and the Misha one but this one unlike the Misha one has a very lovely smell it sort of reminds me of like a little bit of flowery thingy but again it's the same consistency and this is the Acewell Dermalt Airy Sun Control Stick by the way but yeah it's just a regular sunscreen stick 20 grams of ingredients this one does have some fragrance but it is all the way down the ingredients list so next sunscreen stick is the La Neige one as you can see the La Neige one is actually pretty big this is also the biggest uh, sunscreen stick that I have what I like about this product is that it is of course you get more grams this is one of the most expensive sunscreen sticks that I bought but then again you get 26 grams of product instead of 20 22 or 18 and a half grams of product and the shape of the sunscreen stick it's actually very convenient to use this to apply sunscreen on your face it's pretty big so if i would just put it on my face as you can see it is very easy to apply sunscreen when it comes to this stick it is so big so that's a big plus because you also have some sunscreen sticks that are pretty small but you know small is cute and stuff but it's not the best for you know applying on your face when you're out because mostly you want to do that in a hurry just so you know this one does have fragrance in the ingredients list but it is in the middle part of the ingredients list i personally don't mind fragrances in my skincare products but i do feel like if i'm using a toner a essence a serum a moisturizer I cream all with fragrance then of course I would prefer to at least have my sunscreen stick without any fragrance a little bit of fragrance in every product eventually becomes a lot of fragrance and that's what you don't want but yeah the Laneige one I actually really like this sunscreen stick um, I also keep it in its original packaging I don't know why because I think I paid a little bit more for it price wise it's actually a good sunscreen when it comes to the amount that you get and the price that you pay for it. I think I paid like $19 for this one in YesStyle and with coupons it became like 17 euros. I say dollars, I mean euros. And then let's continue with another one. And I think this is the most expensive sunscreen stick that I have bought. I have always been wanting to try this sunscreen stick and as you can see, it is looking very luxurious but once you take this off it's very simple this is the consistency of the sunscreen stick it's again a cream based sunscreen stick um it's sort of a light beige pinkish color and it is 18 grams so for this sunscreen stick i paid 22 or 23 euros on yes style after coupon codes and rewards codes i think it's nice because every time i use this sunscreen stick it does give me sort of like that luxury feeling just because of the packaging and because i know like some 37 is sort of i i, I hope i say it right i uh, think for the price and everything it's a little expensive so this sunscreen stick doesn't contain any fragrance so that's a good thing even though it has a very long ingredient list it does have a slight smell of roses but I think it's because of some essential oils or essential rose extracts in the product but overall I think it is nice to just have tried it out for the sake of sunscreen sticks since I just love sunscreen sticks and I have way too much sunscreen sticks at this moment it's very like like this it's just a simple product you know even feels kind of cheap um, but if you put this on it becomes like this luxurious product but then again it's all the product itself um, consistency wise this does feel very nice on your skin actually all the other sunscreen sticks 
they all just feel very soothing very nourishing none of them sting my eyes in general i love all sunscreen sticks uh, I think this one would also would be a great fit for people with oily skin because my boyfriend also liked this sunscreen stick a lot When it comes to all these sunscreen sticks, I don't think you can go wrong with any of them Up until now, I haven't found any sunscreen sticks that I don't like I only found sunscreen sticks that I like Well, I have found some that I don't like the smell So next sunscreen stick is going to be this one from Abib you get 22 grams of product. So Abib is a brand that I have never heard about. I literally bought this sunscreen stick with zero hopes. I just saw the stick and I was like, okay, let me just try this one because it does have quite a lot of reviews on Yesta. I think something like 107 or something like that. This sunscreen stick, as you can see, is a waxy consistency. Um, it is... Oh, my boyfriend just used it literally like 10 minutes ago before he went away. But this one is, again, my new favorite sunscreen stick and also my partner's favorite sunscreen stick because first things first it is so big so when you apply this on your face it is so easy and so quick and it also feels so nourishing so just perfect like i it's funny because this is actually the last sunscreen stick that i tried out for five days out of all the sunscreen sticks i was like okay let me just use this sunscreen stick you know it's just like black dark brown color it's nothing special i don't know this brand that much so let me just try it out this is one product that i would definitely repurchase even though i already have so many sunscreen sticks i would still repurchase this just because i love it it is a little bit expensive i think but again it has by the way no it has no fragrance very good ingredient list this sunscreen stick contains acacia peptide and ceramides to strengthen your skin barrier it also contains camellia sinensis leaf extract centella asiatica extract but it also has other soothing nourishing ingredients this stick by the way it has a very very small smell like very subtle subtle smell like i don't smell anything right now but when i put it on i do smell a little bit of smell but it's not something that i don't like overall i love this sunscreen stick okay i freaking love this sunscreen stick the main reason why i love this is the size so for example the vanilla co is one of my favorites but this is definitely my number one this used to be my number one but this one like one because of the sizing so as you can see it's a there's a pretty big difference in sizing and also because this one is actually like um, I don't know how to say it in a certain shape um, is just great to apply on your face I still love this sunscreen stick but you know I enjoy applying this absolutely but this one is like bam 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 and you're like nourished you know and then next sunscreen stick is from nature republic and some of you guys have also seen Young use this I wasn't aware of that but every time that I use this sunscreen stick right now it reminds me of Taeyong and again this um, smells just like the uh, Nature Republic aloe vera gel the, the the big pot so it does have fragrance in the ingredients list but it is listed uh, all the way uh, down below so one thing that i like most about the sunscreen stick it, it has the same shape like the abib one as you can see so it's really easy to just apply on your face the only thing is that this sunscreen stick is a little bit smaller if it would have been bigger i think this would have been no, no, I think this would still be my favorite because this one has no fragrance and I just love the aloe vera smell that you get with this product and I love the color and I love that it reminds me of Taeyong using this product you get 21 gram of product and overall yeah i'm just really happy with this i also have another thing from nature republic and it is their california aloe sun puff so this is i don't know why i always keep stuff in the original packaging but that's just how i am please let me know if you're like me as well this is like an ice puff in the sun and what you have to do is in here you have like this puff and you get one extra and what you do is you literally like but then what you do is you literally just push it just push this part i don't 
don't know if you could hear that but then you get some product and then you can apply it on your face but it is so cool so that's why it is called ice puff i really think this is a very fun product to use um next to the sunscreen sticks of course we all have been using normal sunscreen like fluid sunscreen and then you have sunscreen sticks which is very fun and then you also have something like this it's not the most handy when you are outside because it is pretty big but it's just very fun to apply and it's very great for those days that it's really hot and you just want something that cools down your face so i'm actually saving this for once it gets very hot here in europe but again same line same aloe vera smell a little bit of fragrance but yeah just wanted to share that really quick in between and then the last two sunscreen sticks so let's just continue with this one so this is the eco earth power sunscreen stick from the sam this is a yellow one i actually bought this one purely for the color but i love yellow um, again, this is another shape that I don't think you guys have seen before. I really enjoy this shape because it is very easy when you apply this like for example under your eyes. Um, it's just also on your eyes itself. It's just easy to get into those corners. A waxy sunscreen consistency as you can see. It does have a little bit of a smell. I don't know how to describe it, but I don't like it that much, but it's okay. I smell it for five minutes after I applied the sunscreen stick to my face and then it's gone. Um, you get 22 grams of products, which is pretty much. Feels great on your skin, very soothing, very nourishing, but I love this, love, love, love this shape that you get, but I don't love it as much as this one, the Abib one. This is like my second favorite shape after the Abib one that was like this and overall I just got it for the yellow color um, like the product feels nourishing soothing on your face has a little bit of fragrance in it it is down below in the ingredients list and yeah what more can I say and then we have our last sunscreen stick which is by the way one of my favorite sunscreen sticks also this is the Swanee Coco daily UV shield sun stick this sunscreen stick oh my gosh 20 grams of products doesn't contain any fragrance it does have some lavender flower extract and jojoba and macadamia oils in them which is set on the packaging but as you can see again it is the same shape as the previous sunscreen stick um, very easy to apply it on your face it's not a waxy consistency it is a creamy consistency but the smell oh oh my gosh i love this smell i literally like literally took this one also to bed with me i had it next to my pillowcase and if i couldn't sleep i would just smell the sunscreen stick and i would just be happy that's how much i enjoy and love this product but overall um yeah more what more can i say no fragrance good ingredient list lavender extract jojoba macadamia extracts in this product now let's look at all my sunscreen sticks and if i would have to give you guys like a top three of my favorite sunscreen sticks then of course this one would be number one then we have this one as the number two and then we have this one or this one as number three i don't know i think this will be number three purely because i am just a fan of theom and then this one will be like my number four so overall all these sunscreen sticks i love them i love 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 them all don't like all the smells of some particular sunscreen sticks but that's totally fine with me as long as they have good ingredients and one thing that i also want to point out is something that i always forget when using sunscreen sticks is applying sunscreen on your hands when you're driving anyways um overall i personally am a very big fan of sunscreen sticks just because they're so easy to bring with you, they're so easy to reapply. Another thing that I would want to point out is that whenever I use a certain sunscreen stick on my face, I always use one finger, which is going to be my ring finger. And with that finger, I actually blend out the product to make sure it is evenly distributed on my face. And then that finger, I just like put it on 
this hand but there's not much product left mostly i think i will stick with sunscreen sticks for a very long time i love them i just love how cute they are the colors for me it's literally fun to use a sunscreen stick because it's different i will also film another video about sunscreen sticks like because i have so much more sunscreen sticks but yeah that video i think it will be out next week I hope so stay tuned for that once i have that video up i will also leave it in the description down below yeah so that was it for this video let me know in the comments down below if you have a certain sunscreen stick or if you want to buy some of these sunscreen sticks i also have uh, my yes style influencer code in the description down below so if you want to use that that would make me very happy because then i earn a little commission and you would support my youtube channel so thank you for that in advance if you would use that i'm really happy with uh, all my sunscreen sticks i hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to keep it short but we'll see while editing how short this video will become you should definitely try it out try a few and you have like so many different sunscreen sticks from like a little bit more expensive to cheap thank you guys so much for watching and i wish you all a very great day